Hello Flosstube, this is Karen with KB Studio Creations. Um, I'm back. I was going to record it either Tuesday or Wednesday this week. It is now Thursday, but Tuesday afternoon after I got off my day job, I was babysitting my niece and nephew. That was fun. And then yesterday I was just kind of depressed. So yeah, didn't happen yesterday, but I'm better today. Life is good. Um, yeah. Let's get on this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Need to work on that one. Okay, so starts. I started the um, second <coughs> bobble in the Mr. Cross Stitch series for the bobble projects he's doing. Um, and like usual, there will be links in, um, there'll be links in my show notes, which will be in on my blog. Yes, be on my blog, but the link will be below. Yeah. So this is it. I'm using a variegated floss. I'm actually just using one variegated floss, but I used um, the lighter section of it for the interior and the dark, darker, I'm using the darker section for the exterior. Um, it doesn't work. It isn't working out quite how I wanted it to work out, but whatever. It's okay. It'll do. And it'll probably look good in the end. So I worked on that. Um, that was really about the only project I worked on in the past week because I was working on much stuff in my shop, which I will talk about later. But my husband has been cross stitching too. So let me show you his whips. So, oh shoot, I forgot to bring the picture. Well, this is what he's working on. This is actually where he was last week, but I forgot to show it last week. Um, this is from Country Cottage Kids, and it's a pirate's life. Um, I am going to try to do some inserting of pictures today, try out my, try to improve my editing skills. So maybe I'll try to put in a picture of what that looks like, the real thing, the finished. That's the word, finished thing. Oh, and he also started another project. I also forgot to bring the thing with me. I'm not on top of it today, that's okay. So he is doing our last name, Bowen, in these letters from Cross Stitcher Magazine. I love Cross Stitcher Magazine, it's so wonderful. So this one I'm pretty sure is from June's. Yeah, it's from June's. So he's putting our name on this hand towel and it's super cute, I love it. And he's like, it has so many mistakes in it, which it that, does. I don't know if you heard him, but he said it does. And you know, that happens. I'm of the rule that you fudge it if you can. Um, I watched uh, Kitchen Stitcher, Kitten, Kitten Stitcher last night. Um, and she was like, she just leaves it in. She just keeps going on. So, hey, following her example, I guess. Just let it go. All right, so let me try to make sense of my notes because I printed it out and then I decided I wanted to rearrange the order I did things. So what am I doing next? Okay, FFOs. I can't show it to you because it was my ATC that I sent to my partner, but I will put a picture in and I will show you the picture from the book. So this is from this book I got at Ooh. Sorry, another yawn. I am always too tired. Okay, so let's try to get the reflection off. 2001 Cross Stitch Designs. Better Homes and Garden. Um, got this at a thrift store on my road trip. So, the theme for the ATC was A's. I'm gonna take the outside off just to make this easier to show. So, I did this little angel right here but I did her skirt with the hearts like this and I changed pretty much all the colors. Similar colors, but different. So that's that. And you will see here a picture of it. Um, so that's the ATC, my first ever ATC. And yeah, so I did some finishing of that. Oh, sorry. Can you tell I don't get enough sleep at night? Yeah, I don't. Um, 
So that's that. Oh, and I finished it um, last week, and I used um, some of the supplies I got from my husband's grandma. So that was nice to use some of the uh, bias tape, I think is what it's called. It's just basically like fabric folded it in half and folded it half again on itself. Anyways, so you just, I think it's called bias tape. And it was a color that matched the red in the, it's more of like a burgundy red. Yeah. Haul, I got some more supplies, um, mostly just fabric, I think, eight o'clock for the kits I was putting together. So that's what most of my time has been spent over the past week. Kits and more kits and more kits. Because I released 10 kits on my Etsy shop. It's a lot of work. Worked myself to exhaustion last week. Didn't get them released on Saturday like I wanted, but I got them released on Monday. So they're in my kit now. In my kit. They're in my shop now. Um, most of them were bookmarks. <coughs> I realize I need to maybe change the direction <coughs> of my things because people aren't as interested in bookmarks as I had hoped. So, yeah. But I will try to keep that in mind while still pursuing ideas that excite me. Um, I kind of, that's part of the reason I was feeling kind of depressed is I was just like, I don't know what to do. My shop doesn't do as well as I would like. And I have a sale this week, Christmas and July sale. Talk about that a little bit more later. And yeah, I was just kind of depressed about it all. But I listened yesterday to a podcast from About Progress. Um, and I love that podcast. I will link it in the show notes. Um, but basically the idea of one, failures can help us get to success, basically. And I just had the idea, you know, like, pursue the ideas that excite me. Like, don't discount <coughs> the ideas that I like. So hopefully that'll help me be more excited, I guess, to pursue ideas I have. Anyways, kits. Back to kits. So I, oh, I am so sorry. Release kits. And I'm only showing you one right now. So this is my Books and Holly ornament. So the rest are um, bookmarks, except for my Nutcracker ones could be stitched all together as like in a framed piece. I guess some of the other ones could be stitched all together and frame them too. Anyways, so Books and Holly. So the reason I wanted to show this is because I decided at the last minute to add an option for a finishing pack. So if you order this, not only do you get the fabric, the threads, the needle, pattern, how to make an ornament, all that. You get the supplies too, if you want. You don't have to get that. But if you want it, it's available. Yes, that's done. All right. Oh, oh so sorry. I should add, my title for this is Christmas in July. I should add and yarns. Yeah, that's going on my notes. So, I put the, our first needle minders. These are, my husband made these. So we made some books. This is one of them. We have them in pink, obviously. Green, brown, blue, and purple. So needle minders. I love these. I've made some for myself that I use, as you can see. And my husband, I think he's using one. Yep. He's using one too except for his needle is halfway through the stitch, but he's using one too. Um, so I like them. I love books. So seeing a book as I cross stitch, two things I absolutely love together. Perfect. Um, but that's me. Hopefully other people also want a new monitor or you can also have, I also have the option up to get it as a magnet, which basically means you don't get the second magnet. You just get the one magnet. Oh, this one's kind of off center, like pretty off center. We had an issue with magnets reacting to each other and pushing them away, even though they weren't even close to each other. I think this one pushed its way through the glue. Hmm. Anyways, we'll see what we can do about that. Um, fix that before I send it out to someone. Oh, and then we also have the Starry Night needle minder. So it's just got a moon and some stars. You can move it any way you want. Um, and I was worried, like, would this really work with a needle? But it does. Fits right in. 
it's fine. So, starry night. Um, you can't, it's hard to tell, but this is like a dark, dark blue. So, kind of like a night sky. I have ideas for more needle minders. So, they'll be coming. That was one of the things I was like, oh, I'm doing cross stitch designs. I don't need to like pursue all these needle minder ideas. Well, guess what? I'm gonna do it anyways. I can sell cross stitch patterns and needle minders. I don't know. It'll be good, right? Maybe something eventually will sell and life will be good. Not that life isn't good now. I did sell a kit. Yay! Thanks, Maylene. I appreciate it. Um, my goal, my husband asked, like, what's your goal? What's your hope for your Christmas and July sale? Because I haven't sold that much in my shop, period. It's a fact of life. It happens. I'm going to keep trying. Hopefully hit on the right thing someday. And I was like, it would be really nice if I sold a kit, a PDF pattern, and a needle minder. Like, if I do that this week, I'll call it a success. I mean, I'll call it a success even if I don't do that, I guess. But that's, like my minimum for hope of like what constitutes a successful Christmas in July this year. Last year it was just to make a sale, which I did. I made like two sales last year. Well, more than Etsy accounts each like item purchased as a different sale. So it was one person buying multiple and then another, I think another person bought some too. Anyways, I counted, I counted it as success last year. The first year nobody bought anything. I don't know if that was a success, success or not, but it was, I guess it was a, it was a, it was a success, that was hard to say, because I did it, and I learned how Etsy's mechanisms work, or whatever. I'm trying to be positive. I watched one of Kitten Stitcher's last night, her tour, which I'm just going to talk about now. I was going to shout her out later. Her craft room, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Go watch it. It's awesome, and she's awesome. And she is just so positive, and I love it. And she sings random tunes all the time, which reminds me of my sister Mary, which makes me even happier. Especially because my sister's moving back soon because she graduated from college. Yay! And I might have my sister on here, I'm thinking, as like a guest. She's very quiet, but she knits, she crochets, she cross stitches, she weaves, she gardens, trims trees, all sorts of things. I cross stitch. Okay, I do other things too, obviously. I don't know if you can see that. That thing back there, right behind my head. I did that in high school art. It's like, it's not etching. It was like, it's a black, it's black when it starts out and then you like take tools and scrape it off and it creates pictures. That's one of my art pieces. You can kind of see this other one. That was with charcoal on black. It's really kind of faint, but that's another thing I did. The ones in the middle are just like the ones you buy at the store. But I love art in all sorts of forms. All sorts of forms. That cross stitch is what I'm pursuing now because I love it and it makes me happy and I'm rambling, but I have time so it's all good because I didn't do that much cross stitch this week. All right, so I talked about kits and needle minders. Christmas and July sale. So I kind of mentioned that 15% off. Um, usually my Christmas and July sale is only 10% off, but I release kits and needle minders. So it's 15% off this year. Next year I'll probably go back to 10%, but 15% off. Um, and with my sale, I decided to do a giveaway. It's Christmas. You gotta give something away, right? This. So sometimes I test stitch things. Well, I test everything I, s everything Every pattern I sell has been stitched by me before, or now test stitchers as well. Thank you so much, test stitchers. Um, I really appreciate it because I have so many ideas that I want to pursue and it's hard. And that's another thing that was depressing me is the fact that I have so many ideas I want to pursue and just not enough time. Not enough time. Anyways, so this little pull, um, this was a, t a, a test stitch for my hand towel because I wanted to see what it looked like before I... Um, stitch it on the towel to see if it looked okay. So it's not focusing. Maybe if I move it over my face. Well, you get the basic idea. So that was a test stitch and then I made it into a pillow and my finishing is not perfect. I'm sorry. I'm not a pillow 
I'm Nirvana. I'm not, <laughs> not even close. But I watched one of her tutorials recently. What was it? I watched one of her tutorials and it was awesome. And I'm gonna watch more of her tutorials and follow them and learn how to do better finishing. Um, so yeah, this pillow I'm giving away. So, um, blanking brain. Oh, so this is a, this is a cross platform giveaway. Um, it, okay, I'm putting it down. You can see it again in a moment. Um, so Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, they all have posts about how to enter there. I'm also going to tell you in a couple seconds how to enter here. Each medium you enter through, doing all the steps it says, is another entry. So for floss tube, what was my thing? Oh, you have to answer the question, uh, what is a favorite Christmas tradition you have? Anything from when you were a kid, now. Um, one of my favorite Christmas traditions as a kid is we couldn't go to where the presents were until my, fa my parents played Joy to the World. We were stuck, well, where my family lives now, upstairs. We were stuck upstairs, couldn't go downstairs till they played the music. And then we would run down and see our presents. Um, so I, 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 just, I love that. I think that's why Joy to the World is my favorite Christmas song because it brings back those memories. Um, and I just had an idea for another uh, cross-stitch idea, so I'm just gonna write it down because 150 plus isn't enough. I obviously won't do all of those, but well, maybe I will. I was thinking about the other day, I was like, oh, I haven't done that much, but I've really only been designing for like three years. So I guess it's not really that bad for three years of designing. I've got to give it time just because other people skyrocket faster than me. It's okay. We are all on our different paths and it's okay. I'm talking more to myself than to you, but get it, get it. Why did that come out? I don't know. Let me write in one moment. Okay, idea written. Back to the pillow. Pillow. Can you tell my brain's tired today? Okay. Oh, so answer that question in the comments below. Please subscribe, please, please like. Um, I probably won't check those because I'm not sure how, but I will maybe try. Um, the other giveaways are supposed to end Saturday, but um, since this is getting up like a day later, I'm just gonna give you till 7 a.m. on Monday, July 30th, Eastern Standard Time, which is where I am because I'm in Virginia. Um, this is open internationally, but internationally, I'm not gonna send the pillow, I'm sorry. But you would get the pattern instead, the pattern for the uh, winter hand towel, which I should have gotten out so I could show you. But maybe I can insert a picture. But um, yeah, pillow, hand towel, whatever. Um, that's all I have to say about the giveaway. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Hopefully it made some sense. I may put in a, like I said, I'm gonna try putting images in. So maybe if I put an image in with the things, but don't say giveaway, please be 18 or older or have permission from your parents. Um, yeah, don't say giveaway cause I'll delete that. Share it, you're welcome to share this even though that's not a requirement for the giveaway. Let other people uh, share in the goodness in case they're interested. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I've also been working on a commission design piece. Um, the design has not been approved. We just need to decide on fabric <coughs> and colors. Like, I mean, I have the colors. I just want to make sure they look good with the fabric and everything. Anyways, I don't know if I'm going to ask him once I meet with him next about whether or not I can talk about it or not. Don't know what his preference is. Want to ask before I just talk about it. Okay. Shout outs. Yay. Floss tubers are awesome. All of you. I haven't watched you all, obviously, but I've watched a lot and I'm going to keep watching more because I love it. So last week I was going to shout out Stitching Marie 
and I forgot. Since then, she's changed the name of her floss tube channel. It's Rita Marie Stitching Adventure. She's from Norway. Very cool. I was on a huge um, Norway quick when, kick when I was in sixth grade. Um, loved Norway. I had one of my favorite books was at the library that was Norwegian fairy tales. They also had like Russian fairy tales and Hungarian fairy tales. I don't know. I can't remember what all the countries were. The one with Norway fairy tales was my favorite. Uh, Norwegian fairy tales. Anyways, she did a test stitch for me of a pig. I will try to insert the picture here um, of her stitching. Um, so that's really awesome. That gives me much closer to getting that pattern released, um, which I hope to release this year, as well as my fox. Um, also, Jesse, Jesse Marie does stuff, is having a stitch along, and I was gonna write the details down, but it starts later this week, I think like the 29th maybe, maybe before that, I need to double check. I need to get on the ball. But she's having a stitch along because she's been a floss tuber for five years. Wow. I haven't even known about floss tube for five months. I don't think. Yeah, it hasn't been five months. So she's doing a stitch along and it's a really easy one. Like the first day you do something that relates with the letter J and then M, D, S, and a freebie. And I'm pretty sure August 1st is the freebie, so if I counted back, I could maybe figure out which day, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, so, but it's basically just J for Jesse, M, D, S for Marie does stuff. So like, why did my brain just, brain just blink? I was gonna tell you what I was gonna do for one of those days. My brain blinked. Oh well, I won't tell you what I was gonna do for that day. I'll tell you next week after I've done it. Um, and then Kitchen Stitcher, Kitten Stitcher, which I've mentioned before. Um, yeah, that's all I've got. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, whatever. If you enjoyed it, great. Um, leave me comments, I like comments. Um, subscribe if you'd like, welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you have been here before. I super appreciate all of you who do watch my floss tubes. Um, like I said in my first one, I'm very much an introvert. This is kind of out of my comfort zone. I don't do things where people see me. I blend into the background. But I don't know. I don't know why I'm so interested in doing floss tube. I think it's just I want to join in the community. And it makes me happy. So I'm doing it. That was my pencil. Yeah, I think I'm done here. Happy stitching.